previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. Not gonna lie, this view is pretty fucking dope. And now we continue. Hmm, this way. Okay, the wagons come to a stop. From what I can get out of this. It's over for you. Yeah, I know I didn't do it cleanly. I mean, really, what the fuck did you expect me to do? How else was I expected to go about this, huh? And away we go. Yes, I killed them. I really don't see how there was any other way around that. Captain Monroe, I've got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well. I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit no or not, problem. this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Well, there you have it. So who's next, uh? T. Trelawney? Trelawney. Whoa. That's a name I haven't heard in quite a while. It's 
been some time, my friend. Yeah, no, you other two can fucking eat dicks and fuck off. Hey, you go see my homie Trelawney. So yeah, away I go. Oh fuck, that's right. I have to wait until I'm out of this area for my horse actually goes fast. Any time now. Almost there. Getting close. Up, up, up. We're trotting. We're trotting. And... And... Come on. Enough with the trot. There we go. Shit, wrong way. My bad. Alright, folks, we're back in camp. Fuck, let me start the timer up again. God, I hate those ridiculously long horse rides. Craft cook. It's maybe. Can I craft those herbs? Where the fuck did I get venison? I have no idea where I got venison from, but alright. Anyway, Trelawney, my man. What is up? Hey, Trelawney, look at me, goddammit. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. No, come on. He's been a homie. Oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. A friend? Mr. Morgan. Sir. Oh, hey. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I no problem, I've sir. made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors well, please go has on. agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. I'm My all men ears, man. are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Absolutely. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Fuck, I would have said yes no matter what. I like Big Chief, man. Yes, I know his name is Rainsfall. I like, I like to give people nicknames, and I'm gonna call him Big Chief, man. Okay. Let's go, good girl. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. Yeah, no shit. Has a mind of his own. 
Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince evil flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve of course. the vaccines, Arthur. Not a problem. You will be at the meeting, and there's one person who knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Good. I still think this is going to end terribly, but you know. If the rest of y'all have hope, then I'm willing to be a bit hopeful myself. If the rest of y'all are willing to be like, you know what? Happy, happy, joy, joy, fun times. Maybe not fun times, but positivity nonetheless. Then I'm, I'm willing to be a bit hopeful. Like maybe, just maybe, we can turn this shit around for the better. Now, am I overly hopeful? Of course not. Hey, wait. I can't get any of my guns off the- God damn it, I should have equipped some guns before I got here. Well, anyway. Too late for that now. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're, uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Well, what Listen, an asshole. I already hate him. We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made. Arthur, quit with the coughing, God damn it. in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. Oh, but shit. there are limits. So, let me be very... <coughs> Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. 
because he thinks Monroe is a patsy or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Ooh. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Mm. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> God damn it, Arthur. Lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir? From a junior officer in public was that its plan too sir you insult me you insult the regiment arrest this man arrest me gross insubordination disobeying an order treason are you mad you had those vaccines stolen you disrupted a negotiation let him go this is all getting out of hand hi right, captain monroe let's get out of here I, if I, I were you i'd keep my mouth shut amigo I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Get off me. Well, shit. That took a turn. You won't get away with this. Ouch, I'm being shot. Fuck it ah, tree. <laughs> Fucking trees. Well then let's return the favor. <laughs> yes, but we can. Oh shit, there's one to this side. Some tells me these guys don't give a fuck about your oath. I mean, I get it. You're an honorable man even in dire times, which is respectable, I won't lie. However, it's not going to do us much good in this moment. God damn, this guy keeps ducking out at just the right times. Yeah, well, I'm trying to do something about it. This guy, fucking, there we go. There we go. Holy shit! That's a lot of folks. I don't think they had any intention of it being a truce, though, my dude. Uh, that's the unfortunate part of it. No, no, it's good. That'll probably look great for you. You can say you were kidnapped or some shit. Let's go! Captain Monroe, you're with me! Oh, Hop on, Captain! We sure as hell don't want to hang around here! 
And away we go. Of course they're still coming. You think they were really just going to let us go? You think we had any chance in hell of them just letting us go? Where's Chief Reigns? What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I can. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or we'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <coughs> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm dying, sister. Okay. Now okay. I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? <laughs> yes, please know, elaborate. Whenever we happen to meet, you, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. You did? He passed away. Oh. I had a girl who loved me, I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. Oh. There is nothing Damn, to that be face, afraid though. of, Mr. Morgan. That tugs at our strings. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! 
I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. two now fellers now we're only left with those two spots huh all right guess we're heading down to see Sadie which is a fucking hell of a fucking horse right oh god no do not want to go through there Last thing I want to do is go through there. Um, shit. Um, how do I want to go? I want to go through here. Yeah. I want to avoid that road, because if I go down this road, then it fucking starts that mission. I have to fucking reload my save entirely, because I don't want to do that mission. So, yeah. Jesus Christ, where the hell am I? Emerald Station. Goddamn. We're a ways away. Shit. I remember when we were still over here. Alright. Well then. I better get a move on towards my destination. See you guys then.